good evening, Seattle. So a few months ago, I took my first glass bead making class. And I have to admit, I was hooked from day one. Sitting in front of the propane torch, a glass rod in hand, and a metal mandrel on the side, watching the glass melt is mesmerizing. And it teaches me a lot of lessons. And so today, I thought I'd share a few of those with you. Maybe you'd find them interesting as much as I do. As you can well imagine, glass comes in a multitude of colors. There are literally infinite possibilities of what you can do with molten glass. So this teaches me that life is also like that. There is infinite possibility, and we get to choose what we want in our lives. So it's about setting an intention. What is it that I want to bring in my life? And with glass, I need to decide, OK, with all these colors, what is the color bead that I'm going to make? What is the decoration going to be? And based on that, set myself up accordingly. So I need to pull, let's say if I'm making a white bead with black design, I'll pull a black stringer. I'll melt the black glass and pull it apart. It's a lot of fun, I tell you. And this teaches me to prepare for whatever life throws at me, to set myself up for success. So when I'm sitting on the bench, I want to make sure I have all my tools in place. I have all the glass rods I need. I have my safety systems in place so that if there is a mishap, I can quickly get some help. So setting up for success is really, really important. Take a minute here. <laughs> Uh, when you're using a glass bead and jewelry, it's kind of important to have the hole in a center. And the way you do that is by melting the glass on the surface on the propane torch. And what this teaches me and reminds me is that although there's so much going on at the periphery, I can still be quiet and centered within. Glass teaches me very quickly to come into the present moment. Working in front of the torch, high temperatures, glass sharp bits here and there, it teaches me to pay attention very closely. And I find that when I'm able to do this, I'm much more joyful inside. And the quality of my interaction completely changes while I'm working with glass and in everything else I do in life, with all my interactions with people. I'm more present. And then the outcomes are usually much better. The process of cooling glass is really interesting. If you don't cool it at a regulated temperature, bringing it steadily down, it can shatter and crack like you see in those glass beads on the right. That's not a good thing. What this teaches me is that anything that is challenging or difficult in my life also provides internal strength for me. And so I've learned to welcome it with open arms. I have to admit, cleaning the glass beads is my least favorite part. And I have to remind myself to clean the glass bead because when I'm using it in jewelry, it's going to be a gloppy mess otherwise. So my breathing and meditation practices help me with the same internal cleansing that's so critical. Glass teaches me very quickly to learn to embrace all the outcomes. When I'm working in front of the torch, the glass is molten. And many times I cannot see what the colors are doing and how they're flowing and melding together. So I can't really control what the bead is going to look like. And it's the same with life. I can give my 100%. I can do everything I can from an action point of view. But what the result is, is not always in my hand. And it's OK. Life works out most of the time. Glass teaches me to be gentle. And with the glass, as well as with myself, to treat myself with love, with kindness. And I think it's really something that I take home every time I work with glass. Those beads that I make, they don't like to sit in a box on the shelf. So I've learned to let them go. I make little trinkets with them. And I love to see when I give them to people how their faces light up. Sharing the gift of glass brings me a lot of joy. I believe that each one of us has an artist inside us. And so my invitation to you today is to let that artist out, to give that artist a voice, to share your gifts with the world. It's so important. And to close, I'd like to share a few lines from a poem I wrote about making glass beads. And you can read this on my blog. Um, my blog is called onepartartist.blogspot.com. They go like this. The ones that shatter, the ones with chinks, are the ones that matter. 
that form true links. Thank you so much for your attention.